Hey there! Welcome to the ninth Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. Today we're going to do a little practice set with a few things that we've learned so far. It's a very simple exercise meant as a way to practice your JavaScript skills. This practice set is called Volume of Cube. We're going to prompt the user for an input, a number, and it'll be either the length, width, or height of a cube. It doesn't really matter since it's a cube and they should all be equal. And we're going to cube that number or multiply it by itself three times. And we're going to do some simple math. At the end of this tutorial, I'll give a little preview of the power method of the math object, so stay tuned for that. We'll cover the math object later on more in depth. So let's start coding. So in my HTML here, I set up two little uh, span IDs, one called length, one called answer, in place of divs. Uh, grabbing their values are, is absolutely the same thing. I'm not going to spend too much time on explaining what spans are or divs, what the difference is. This is uh, basic HTML. And these are acting as pretty much a placeholder for our length in units, which is going to be here. And in our HTML, it'll be here. And our volume in units here. So you can change this units to anything you want, uh, you know, in inches, uh, inches cubed, feet, meters, whatever you like. I'm just calling it units just to be generic. So I have a, a little bit of common setup just to show you the structure that we're going to use. So the formula for volume is length times width times height. And you multiply it the input by itself three times, not you know input times three, but input times input times input. Or you can use the math dot power fun power method, which we will cover later on. So let's grab the span IDs and store them into variables for later use. So we'll do document let's store it in a variable. First we'll do var length document dot get element case sensitive by ID length and var answer document dot get element by id answer so we have stored uh the values that we're gonna get from the uh we will store the 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 html elements of these span ids into variable length and variable answer so now let's ask the user for an input in my last tutorial I covered prompt so let's store prompt in a variable I'll call it side just to be generic again I'll do equals to prompt prompt and let's ask the user to enter the length height width I mean it doesn't really matter of your cube you can enter a second variable if you want and let's calculate the volume. It's pretty simple, simple, right? So we'll store the answer for volume into a variable called volume, and we'll do side times side times side. Easy, right? So if a user inputs three, we'll do three times three times three, which is going to be twenty-seven. Let's just let's do a little console log to make sure we're getting the console. Make sure we're getting the values and doing our math correctly. So we'll do a prompt side. And let's add a little space. We'll say, you know, volume, volume. And just to be neat, we'll do, uh, let's do side. And let's see what that looks like in the console so the length is let's do five we enter the five so let's look at our console there you go our side is five and our volume is 125 which is five times five is 25 times five is 125 and makes sense so we are getting the value so I'm just gonna comment it I'm not gonna remove it and now let's write our two little variables into uh, the HTML here. We can do inner HTML or inner text. I'm just going to stick with inner text for now. Uh, so here we will do volume, sorry, length dot inner text equals to side and volume dot inner text equals to volume. Nope, this is where I messed up. This is why having variables are simple and easy. So let's update. We'll run it. So this time I'll call it three. It'll enter the length, width, or height. Press OK, and there you go. It asynchronously updates the HTML here. Pretty easy, right? So three twenty-seven. Uh, in the prompt, just to be a little 
clean about it. Let's just say the default value is going to be a 2. So if I update and run one more time, it's going to give me a 2 so that you know if a user just presses OK, it'll be OK. So the volume of cube with 2 units is going to be 8 units. It'll be 8 units cubed. Let's be correct here. 8 units cubed. There you go. So now that was method 1 of doing this. Let's use method 2, which is the math object and the power method of uh, JavaScript. Now don't worry too much about the math object. Um, this is just a little preview of what we will cover later on. Just going to do a quick little power to show you that uh, if you're looking at something with more than just you know, three sides, cubed is really easy, but you want to do you know, like 3 to the 18th power, you don't want to do side times, side times, side times, side times, side, side 18 times. You can do math.pow. It takes two arguments. Uh, the first argument is going to be the side, the value you want to uh, uh, do an exponent on. And it's going to be 3 since we're doing cubed. Let's store this into the variable var volume. Remember, we need to get rid of. I want to comment that out so that we don't do the math twice. Uh, I intentionally made a mistake here. If you can guess what it is, you get a cookie. So I'm going to open up console so that we can see what's happening. I'm going to update and run. Let's do, uh, let's do 5. There we go. 5 and then undefined. Do you know what I did? No? Well, if you guessed that I try to output uh, the inner text volume before I actually did the math you are correct so make sure that you don't store a value somewhere if you're not trying to output something before you define it so volume is not defined until we get to line 20 so if I move this down here and I run it again let's do 5 there you go 5 units and then 125 units cubed that's all there is. Two methods to it. Uh, I'll post the link to this uh, JS Fiddle in the comments below. Uh, but if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. I hope this was a quick little practice set for you just to practice uh, variables, storing data into variables, some basic math prompting, both input and output. And uh, please ask any questions. I'm more than happy to help. And please visit my website at easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. If you want me to cover a specific topic, please let me know. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching.